What up, fam? Lopez Customs up in this house. Once again, we are here from a little vacation during the weekends at Santa Barbara at a car show. Good out, good turnout. Real good turnout. It was fun. Um, we are here with uh, Face 108, Mr. Face 108, car club model car club member of mine, his 63 wagon. And as you can see in the video, look at all that freaking flake dances all over the place like a boogie land. Look at that flake is just dancing. Oh my goodness. I call this one buggy nights. That's what you want to call it. Buggy nights. Green. What is it? The Benjamins. Benjamin 63. But yeah, back to the subject, sorry. Um, he had sent me finally. He had. Not finally, as in like I've been waiting for a while, but in a way, in a, in a better way. We could take this in a better way. I had finally received the package of V rims. These are the old school two piece Pegasus rims. It spokes, the double spokes, the spokes in the back, and then the main rim with the dish and then the knockoff. And then I recently had finished in the motor, the Johnson motor, it's in the back. I honestly seen the other video from yesterday. It was uh, recently hooked up, so you know, this is test hopping, things like that, and stuff like that, I mean, it's just a test hop, you know? Excuse me real quick. This is test video, and it's hopping, and it's just a little break here and there, and I officially broke it again right here. Right now, it's just um, on the suspension wise, yeah, like right here, the pins fall out, they're not secured yet. Suspension wise, you see all the chrome. Oh, look, chrome the fuck out. <laughs> I used upper A arms customs made by me. These are A arms before I started making other A arms. Ball joint to basic C hinge. Okay. So it's, it's, just, it's basically hooked up both to similarity. Excuse me, real quick. Huh, sorry, Brian just killed my face. I have to turn it over. Put these pins back in. But um, that's about it. I use basic, you know. Here and there are things that I've tested myself that work best, and this setup over here on the front works best. But the thing is that the Johnson has so much power, it's hard to withstand it. So, base, when you do hop this car, I uh, recommend you hop it at a lower volt because <laughs> this thing will break easy. It'll break very easy if you continuously hop it back to back. So, it's like a real car. Sorry guys for the screen block. This is pin falling out, so I have to fix it real quick. Back to this. Excuse me. Back to this. Um, I broke it. Like I said, you see the rims front ends, but I got it all wired up, running all four wires to my switch box. I mean, this is up right here to my switch box, which would be sorry, I tried to record the new one. This right here is my right corner. And this one, my left corner. I got them both to where they continue to do it at the same time. And both drop at the same time. So this thing, three wheel is ridiculous, look. That's that full three wheel right there, look at that. That's a complete, you know, this is better as that. That's as bad as the luggage board over there. You can see the luggage board over there, this is better as this one. And then the other corner too. This thing tilts to the side like nothing. When I'm done with it, I'm going to test hopping it. I will go down there because I'm going to be visiting family over there in LA in Inglewood. So face, I will deliver this by hand to you. Unless you want me to send it to Tingles right after. It's up to you, honestly. This is a video right here. I'll do some test hopping tomorrow, hopefully. Before I take off to LA. If I take off tomorrow or for Friday. I'll have another video with test hopping it. And I'll have it hopefully fixed up and everything. I'll make extra pieces here and there. You can just glue in if they break. I know this Johnson will tear it up a car easy. Especially with this suspension. And don't use these batteries. These are too strong. Use a smaller battery, like about, mm, I would say, a little six pack of nine volts. Or like a little double, two nine volt batteries should do perfect to the motor, to the front. You could run these batteries to the servos, just not to the front. These are your left corner, your right corner, and your front. Basic alligator bite. You got the four wires all hooked up. Everything's all hooked up in there. You can barely see the 
see the cylinders hang out a little bit, but everything else, I'm sure Tingles will be able to work over. Uh, that's pretty much the update video. Uh, let me lock her up all the way up right now. Look at, all, look at that lockup. Oh my, look at that lockup. With all that chrome there too. Man, I wish Facey would send me the car first and then I would have done it. Because all that stuff that got that chrome right there, look at that. Straight reflecting. Flakes are dancing and the chrome is just going crazy on my full room right here. It's ridiculous. But, um, yeah, thanks Face. Uh, the only thing I'm... You can PayPal me the money if it's possible. PayPal me the buck hundred, what, the hundred sixty? Yeah, because you supplied the rims and the motor. About 160. That's the... That's why I charge for this setup here. 160 without the without the rims. It's 170 without the rims and the motor is 170. No, without without the rims and the motor is 180, and 170 with the rims and 160 with the rims and the motor. So now you guys know three switches all hooked up, ready to go. No battery included, just raw suspension work, completely ready to roll. With the motor each corner that's how much i charge 170 one six, 150 one six, 150 to 170 i mean 160 to 180 my bad that's what i charge hit me up uh i got a long line right now i gotta get the 62 done over there that i have a convertible from uh this guy named john over there from la something like that get that done and i got another car coming out myself for my personal use be on the lookout for that one um an update video like I said luxury sport is officially not mine uh, I made a trade for a lowrider bicycle so bye bye luxury sport I miss you <laughs> it was good building you up but hey it's gotta go it's gotta go and if the guy doesn't fall through then give me 300 in cash and I'll give you the switch box with this connector and everything the switch box I have is not that bad it's not the best but the car's worth 600. With, the car's worth 300 because it's got a luxury. It's got Jeffrey's luxury sport clip. It's got 13s. It's got the four link setup with the tanes. You guys take a look at yourself. I got on Zen. Just out of right now. Has everything on it. This car has everything on it. Look. Four link. Chains. Dry shaft with yoke. Slip yoke. Tuck and everything. These are full. Hopping. You know, custom molded it uppers. Engines inside the everything's clean on this car, but little gold leaf things sliding on the pattern. If the guy doesn't go through, which I hope he does, you get sold for 300 cash. Cash in hand or ready to go, cause I'm not gonna be playing. Wait here, wait there for the car. <laughs> But uh, here's the update. Hope you enjoy. It's an eight minute video. Like I always, I talk too much. I yep my mouth. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, I got the big body two door vert over there with the 74 Caprice. I need a 74 Impala top or hood or Caprice and maybe we could work out a trade. I could do s discount at least 20 to 30 bucks off of a hopper setup or hydraulic setup for a 74 Caprice hood because I know they're rare. So let me know what's up. And uh, catch you later, Lopez Customs. We on top right now. Me and San Diego with Mike G. We are putting it down. L-U-G-K. And whoever want to hop, I don't care who you are. Car club or not. We going to hop. We going to hop. I ain't got nothing to pull up right now. But I'm pretty sure I could build something without an hour. Without paint. With full A-arms. So don't tempt me. Fastest time I ever built A-arms? 15 minutes. So, I can get something popping and hopping in front of your face and break you off. So, Lopez Customs, I'm out.